just so just last year, he's just really traumatised. Okay. What's his What's his name? Juice. Oh. At the Bondi Referral Hospital, Sash, 11-month-old Juice has been rushed in by his distraught owners after a shocking screwdriver attack by callous burglars. I just don't understand how something like this could happen to him. Like, he didn't deserve this. He probably just went up to them and jumped up and started licking them. He's so innocent. Oh. OK, so we're just going to lift him onto the table, OK? Dr Laura Musgrove is the first emergency vet on the scene. Good boy. Good boy. As I get up close, he's got lacerations all over his face, and it looks like he's been stabbed in the eye. There's blood everywhere. There's blood on the inside of his collar. He looks awful. The owners are really upset. and. Honestly, I can't really see a lot to do with the eye because he's squinting, but it doesn't look good at a first glance. Come on, darling. It's all right. Poor little man. Distressed owners Meg and Todd are horrified at the sickening attack on their beloved Staffy. We think they've personally thrown juice. Juice has followed them into their house and he's startled them when they've thrown juice into the wall. In yeah, a massive hole in the wall with blood oh, through it still. Sweetie pie. It seems like they've hit his head against a door frame and there's blood all over the door frame. So it's just. I uh, can't even comprehend. All right. A bit more. With juice stabilised and given pain relief, Laura now has the difficult task of talking to heartbroken owners Meg and Todd. Okay, I'm Laura. I know we briefly met a little while ago yeah. and things were a little bit stressful. Um, okay, so first of all, I just want you to know he's okay. All yeah. right, so we've got him stabilised. I mean, I think he's very sore and probably in a little bit of shock from what's happened, okay? You know, if it is a screwdriver that's gone in. At this stage, we don't know how much damage it's done. We need to let things settle a little bit, but I guess the worst case thing is that he could end up losing that eye. Yeah, so what we'll do is the next step is we'll get our ophthalmologist to come and have a look at it and just see, you know, whether we can save it. OK? Thank you. It's all right. I'm not sure Meg and Todd have been able to grasp exactly what I'm saying. I think they're still in shock from everything that's happened, and I'm not sure they understand that Juice could potentially lose his sight, and worst-case scenario, he could lose that eye. Hey, Juice. Juice, look who's here. There you go. Juicy. Juicy. It's okay, buddy. I hate seeing him. He's like just he's never, so helpless. Ever, ever crying. Like yeah, that. he's never made that noise before. So I just hope he settles a little bit. I feel really sorry for Megan Todd. They've had a day from hell. Not only have they had their house robbed, they've now got to leave their beautiful boy here in hospital. I just really hope we can save that eye. OK, guys, all good? All right, okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, honestly, our pleasure. Come on. Oh. Oh, good boy. Will you sit there and show us good work? Let's have a look today. At SASH, emergency vet Dr Laura Musgrove has called in ophthalmologist Dr Alison Groth to look at Juice's horrific eye injury. Hey, can we have a little look? Good boy. Is that a bit better? He's been stabbed in his eye with a screwdriver and other places on his face, but this eye really worries me because I'm not really sure whether whether he can see anything out of there, so... Wow. I'm hoping we can find out a little bit more and potentially yeah. save the eye, but, I mean, have you ever seen anything like that I've before? I've never seen anything like awful. this before. It's, it's awful, isn't it, darling? It's horrible. If it's a pretty major injury for juice, the eye has been ruptured, some of the tissue from inside of the eye is coming out, and the eye does not respond to light at all. When I move my hand towards his face, he doesn't show any normal reflexes, which is why I'm worried that there is injury deeper within the eye. So, it's, I mean, it's not looking very good. Um, he, he's, he doesn't really seem to have any vision in that eye. All right, well, we'll ultrasound to see whether there's any damage further within, and okay. I'll let you know how we go. Okay, mister. Good luck. Good boy. 
Well, fortunately, I think Alison has the same fears as me, that there's a lot of swelling there. At the minute, we don't think he can see out of that eye, and so I think she's probably as worried as I am that he might end up losing that eye. It's a very collapsed eye, so it's very difficult to um, see what I'm doing. Yeah. Poor guy. So this here is the retina. The retina should be lying right against the back of the globe, but it's become separated. And when the retina is not in its normal position, it doesn't work properly. And if the retina doesn't work, then there's not going to be any vision. It's really, really sad. Yeah, it doesn't look good. So the ultrasound confirmed the injury was really severe, um, and the best thing for Juice is going to be to remove the eye. Ah, oh, poor puppy. How are you feeling today? Hey, how are we feeling? Do you want to come out? Oh, let's have a little look. Hello, hello. Hang on there. At SASH, it's been just 24 hours since American Staffy Juice had major surgery to remove his left eye. Come on then. Come on, Juice this way. Good boy. After a brutal attack with a screwdriver left the 11-month-old critically injured, Juice has made a remarkable recovery. Juice, who's this? But before he can get the all clear to go home, Laura and intern Grace need to give him a final check. Man. Well, he's so much brighter, isn't he? He is. He's been really comfortable. When Juice came in the other night, he was, you know, in shock. He was whimpering. His eye looked absolutely terrible. Oh, how does that feel to have your head back? Today, he is so much happier. He's definitely on the road to recovery, and I can't wait to send him home with Mom and Dad. Can I have a little look, my sweet? Yes. Oh, boy. It looks good. so good. This is all stitched up nicely. Yeah. Wow, Juice. I think that looks great. You know what that means? Do you know what that means? We can go see Mum and Dad. For owners Meg and Todd, it's been a heartbreaking ordeal, and they're anxious to see their brave boy. All we've been thinking about is being able to finally come and see him again, so... Uh, yeah, I just I don't even care what he looks like. I just want to bring him home. Come on, then. Come on. We're going to go see Mum and Dad. Who have we got out here? <gasps> Who's that? <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. Words cannot explain how happy I'm feeling right now. As soon as we saw Juice's face, with his tongue just hanging out, oh, it's the best feeling I've ever had in my entire life. <laughs> hey, you glad to see Mum and Dad? <laughs> how much better does he look? Yeah. Hey, you're so happy. So happy. Laura has prescribed massive doses of TLC as Juice recovers with his relieved and doting owners at home. It looks like the operation was done a week ago and it was done yesterday. Like, it's amazing how Such a good job. tidy it is now and now it's just keeping it from getting infected and hopefully the hair will grow over it and he'll just have some tough little scars and a permanent wink. OK, Juice, come on then. Come this on. way. Thank you so much for everything. Come on, Juice. Come on. Come on, Juice. Home's this way. <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Sad. Juice experienced probably one of the most horrific attacks I've ever seen on a dog. And to actually come out of it how he has is brilliant. Yeah, he might have lost an eye, but he's going to go home with Megan Todd and he's going to go on to live a happy, normal life. Go. Good boy. I'm so happy. He's so cute. Come on, Juice. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny Dusek from Bondi Vet. If you love our show and want to see more, plus some amazing content about pets and how to care for them, hit the subscribe button. Click that little notification bell and we'll see you on our next video.